Greetings, Daniel Presedo for Adobe Photoshop. And today we're going to start a unique series that goes through the 3D menu. I'm going to go through each of these items to help you get started using Photoshop 3D. Export 3D layer. And currently it is active because I have a 3D scene in my layers panel selected. If I did not have it selected, it would be grayed out and would say you don't have an export option here because you don't have a 3D layer selected. So let's go back and select it. This is very easy. So we're going to go ahead and say export 3D layer. I'm going to choose an export folder and then I can say take this Collada file and export it. Now let's go through some of these formats really quick because they're very different. They're different purposes. This is for showing off on the web. We're using Flash 3D. Collada is very versatile. It supports animations, textures, lights, and so you can do a lot of different things if you have a uh, a 3D application that supports the Collada file fully. A lot of 3D applications surprisingly do not because they want you tied into their system. Photoshop doesn't want to be that way. We want to support multiple formats. We have KMZ if you have a Google Earth model. Perhaps you have a house or building you want to share. A 3D PDF you might want to collaborate with someone. An STL to maybe send a 3D printable object to somebody else in another application. But why would you not print it in Photoshop because it's way better. Let's see U3D again you could share this in a PDF or you can embed it in a PDF, VRMLs. You can share them online if you have some kind of VRML browser and whatnot. OBJ is the most popular, probably shared format among 3D applications, but it just contains a mesh and the materials. It does not contain lights. It does not contain animations normally. If there's some other weird version of OBJ I'm not aware of that does that, I'd love to know about it. But any, anyway, so you may want to choose the, the type of file you're going to export based on what is going to be done with it afterwards. Usually it's near the end of the workflow or maybe in a collaborative effort where you're going to keep on modeling something with the OBJ. So I'm just going to choose the Collada format here and save and I can choose different options. Some of these formats have variable um, ways to save their textures and whatnot. Different options. I'm going to say Photoshop. Why not? I use Photoshop. And that's pretty much it. That is export 3D layer. If you have any questions, leave the comments here. I can go into further detail in the other formats if necessary. And again, as always, thank you for watching and look forward to the next one.